Yo folks, I promised you some quick tutorials, so here are three ways of how you can pause the Unity editor without clicking on the actual pause button on the top. Sounds easy? It is, but not as intuitive. I came across a need for this when I was trying to debug the throwing mechanic in our game Country Balls The Heist, which is available for wishlisting on Steam. <coughs> Just saying. What you see here is me, Pole and Paul, trying to sneak around some guards that protect the emerald I badly want to steal from them. I need to distract the guards somehow and that might work by picking up an empty bottle and throw it somewhere to bring their attention to that noise. I hold the button to prepare my shot, but during that action you can see an ugly visual bug in the scene view. The trajectory line doesn't stop on the impact point, but rather crosses it which doesn't look appealing. As a developer, I'd like to freeze the entire scene right there and investigate on what's causing this behavior. But obviously, the trajectory follows the mouse position and I cannot click the pause button in the editor while having a good look at the issue. Instead, I need a way to pause the editor with a simple button click. Like, bam, there we go. Now I can inspect what's going on in detail. You might have come across a similar problem, so let's solve it together. In my case, I tackled it by creating a fresh c -sharp script, I just call it pause via code, and within the scripting editor I remove the start method as we're only gonna need the update one. In there, we first check if the editor is currently paused using unityeditor.editorapplication.isPaused. If not, indicated by the exclamation mark, we listen to an input. I go with input.getKeyDown. And as an input key, I'll go with B like break. And speaking of break, that's the line that's gonna pause the editor for us. Debug.break. Let's put a debug log in the else statement to try monitoring if the editor is paused already. Well done, that's our first method. Let's test it in a simpler scene with less distraction. We only got a default cube here with a marble texture, a camera facing it with a custom skybox framing the scene. I animated the cube so that we can see the game is actually running when I press play. Don't forget to add the script, either by dragging it on the cube or by finding it in the cube's component search bar. Now it's running, and when I press B on my keyboard, the editor pauses the game. I'll unpause it manually now and try again. Yep, that works. Let's see if unpausing also works via code. And... Of course it doesn't. No wonder. The editor isn't executing any of our mono behavior while paused, so this first way is only suitable for pausing, but not for unpausing the editor. Looking at our code, we could cut the first if away that's not being checked anyway. Further, you would probably run into a build error when exporting your project this way. To avoid such headaches, we can wrap the code inside the update method between a preprocessor directive. This will make sure that this code is only being executed in the editor and will be excluded when building. Second way to pause and unpause the game is even easier. I'll remove my script so you can't say I was cheating, as Unity comes with a handy shortcut. Command Shift P on a Mac, Control Shift P on Windows. And truly awesome, we can pause and even unpause it. Why didn't I show you this way first? Well, personally I haven't tested it, but I found someone complaining that it wouldn't work anymore in Unity 2022. Yeah, I'm running version 21 here. Let us know in the comments if you can confirm this frog's point. So the last version is to set the time scale via script. I'll quickly hop back there, delete what was without any proper functionality anyway, and set the time.timescale to zero when I press B, and as soon as I stop pressing it, namely on get key up, I want to reset the time to normal, which is 1. Back in Unity, don't miss out on adding the removed script back, and let's test. This one simply sets the simulated time passing to 0, which works for time-dependent calculations like physics and animation. However, it will not stop your coroutines, async operations, UI updates, and even audio. I hope this helped. Surely there are other ways, like writing a custom editor script, but for 99% of all cases, I will think you'll be covered. Alright, that was it. <coughs> Wishlist my game. And see you next time. Cheers.